Hello. It sounds like you're discussing the contrast between modern farming methods and free-range pork production. Indeed, many countries are seeing a rise in the use of advanced machinery for efficiency in agriculture. However, free-range pork remains popular due to its perceived benefits in terms of animal welfare and flavor. Consumers often appreciate the idea of animals having access to outdoor spaces and a more natural lifestyle. This can lead to a stronger connection between people and their food sources, as well as a preference for products that align with their values. Are you looking for more information on one of these topics, or perhaps discussing the benefits and challenges of each farming approach? It seems like you're referencing a video that showcases how farmers can efficiently raise free-range pigs and process meat using modern machinery. These advancements often include automated feeding systems, climate control for barns, and efficient transportation methods, all while maintaining the benefits of free-range practices. If you'd like to discuss specific techniques shown in the video or explore the balance between modern technology and traditional farming methods, let me know. I'd love to help with that. It sounds like the video highlights the traditional practices of raising free-range pigs in Germany, showcasing how these methods have been maintained and adapted over time. Farmers often prioritize animal welfare and sustainability, allowing pigs to roam and forage, which can lead to better quality meat. If you'd like to discuss any specific aspects of the video, such as the techniques used, the benefits of free-range farming, or how it compares to industrial methods, feel free to share. It would be great to explore those topics together. You're absolutely right. In Germany, the concentration of pig farms in the south and east is indeed due to the availability of abundant grasslands and a favorable climate. The temperature range of 45 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, about 7 to 24 degrees Celsius, is optimal for pig growth as it supports their metabolism and overall health. When temperatures drop to low, pigs can experience stress, which affects their digestion and increases susceptibility to diseases. Conversely, extremely high temperatures can lead to heat stress, which can also hinder their growth and well-being. Farmers often implement various strategies to maintain comfortable conditions for pigs, such as providing shade, ventilation, and adequate shelter. This attention to environmental conditions is crucial for raising healthy animals and producing high-quality meat. If you have more specific questions or want to dive deeper into any related topics, let me know. Yes, temperature extremes can indeed lead to stress and dehydration in pigs, which significantly impacts their health and productivity. When pigs are stressed, their immune systems can weaken, increasing their vulnerability to diseases. To mitigate these risks, farmers often implement cooling systems during hot weather and provide ample fresh water to keep pigs hydrated. During colder months, proper insulation and heating in barns help maintain a comfortable environment. The breeding method you're describing is often referred to as pasture-based or semi-free-range pig farming. In this approach, pigs are allowed to roam freely in pasture land while also having access to shelters or pens for protection and food supply. Pigs can exhibit natural behaviors such as foraging, which can lead to improved animal welfare. By combining the benefits of both free-range and confinement systems, farmers can achieve higher productivity while also adhering to ethical farming practices. If you'd like to explore this further or discuss specific techniques, just let me know. One pig breed that adapts well to free-range systems is the large black. This breed is known for its excellent foraging ability, good temperament, and resilience in outdoor environments. These breeds not only adapt well to free-range conditions, but also contribute to sustainable farming practices. If you want more information on specific breeds or their characteristics, let me know. Around the world, the pig industry not only plays an important role in providing food for humans, but it is also a large, vibrant, and diverse industry. Among them, there exist special pigs that are prized for their unique characteristics and qualities. By strategically investing in these systems, farmers can enhance productivity, improve animal welfare, and ensure the sustainability of their operations. 
If you want to discuss any of these aspects in more detail, feel free to ask. Absolutely, the scale N method of disinfection in pig farming can indeed be adjusted based on various factors, including the production method and customer requirements. Here are some key considerations. Finding the right piece of land is a foundational step in establishing a successful farming operation. If you have more specific questions or need further details on any of these points, just let me know. Today, the Iberian pig is one of the last pig breeds raised outdoors in Europe, particularly in the regions of Spain and Portugal. This breed is renowned for its ability to thrive in free-range environments, often grazing on acorns, grasses, and herbs in extensive pasture land. Iberian pigs are typically raised in large, open pastures known as dehesas, which are a mix of oak forests and grasslands. This natural grazing promotes their well-being and contributes to the unique flavor of their meat. During the acorn season, Iberian pigs are allowed to forage extensively, leading to a diet rich in healthy fats. This contributes to the characteristic marbling and flavor of Iberian ham. The traditional methods of raising Iberian pigs are deeply rooted in the culture and history of the Iberian Peninsula.